One of the great things about coming to a trade show like CES is you get to see a lot of inspirational items like the 170 inch TV we just came from. Well, the great thing is that really for 4K TVs this year, there are a lot of things that have happened that for the first time will make us recommend that people go out and buy them. Right, so we have not recommended people buy 4K TVs before, partly because there hasn't been that much content. And that comes partly back to the standards, right? Right. So what we've seen is beyond resolution, mm -hmm. new things like high dynamic range, HDR, we're hearing a lot about it, is the difference between the, a TV's ability to present the very darkest and very brightest images. So it's the range that the TV's capable of. The problem is, is that no one's really standardized around how that kind of content is, one, going to be created, mm -hmm. and two, how it's going to be displayed on TVs. Right. Until this year, because now we have HDR standards, and that's going to really open up manufacturing and also content creation. What do the HDR standards mean exactly and how are we going to see that come out for, for consumers? Well, what's going to happen is really sort of um, you know twofold. One is that for premium sets, there was a, an organization called the UHD uh, Alliance came together and they set minimum specifications for premium TVs. So if you buy one of these TVs, you know that it's going to be a top performing model. Mm -hmm. One okay. of the problems though is that there are going to be other kinds of HDR capable TVs that maybe can read some of the metadata which is embedded in the streams of the content, right. but it doesn't have the hardware really to produce those same dramatic dynamic images that you're seeing with the very best sets. Yeah. So that's still going to be a little confusing for consumers. Yes, yeah, so I might go into a store say, hey, oh, this is an HDR TV, it's a 4K HDR TV, it's 800 bucks, awesome, but I get it home and it's like, that's really not what I was expecting. And that's you know, yeah. one of the things that we'll be focusing on this year in our TV labs is trying to determine the different performance levels that we're seeing to see whether or not we'll be able to recommend some of these lower priced TVs as well as the premium ones. For all of our coverage of CES, join us on social media, YouTube, and at consumerreports.org.